Hi, this is Barry Coon from Define Tomorrow and Computer World. I'm here at VMworld 2016. Uh, I've now got Falcon Store with me. Good afternoon, this is Gary Quinn, the CEO of Falcon Store at VMworld in Barcelona. Fantastic. So maybe you could tell us a little bit more of Falcon Store. It's a name I recognize, but maybe if you can just kind of refresh sure. me as to what you do and what you're in business to do. That's fair, fair enough. Um, we're actually a, a 16 year old public software company. Um, we've been in business selling multiple solutions um, over the years. I became the CEO in 2013, and we recently introduced our flagship product, FreeStore, okay. which provides enterprise class data services at Amazon prices. Okay, fantastic. So, so how do you go about doing that, and, and who are your typical uh, customers that are consuming that? So um, we actually have a, a quite a wide variety of technology around data services over the years. Okay. Uh, we were able to modernize those from traditional disk environments to flash, and now most recently with the introduction of public cloud offerings, FreeStore gives customers the ability to move data, okay. not only from site to site, from disk to flash, but now site to cloud, okay. um, as well as take on some different levels of service around their requirements. So as you find customers in today's digitized environment requiring zero downtime, always up. Yep. So that's a, that's a fu functionality that we have in our technology. In addition to the typical DR as a service, backup as a service, um, all on a single common platform, all with a common user interface, and many enterprise customers are currently going through a transformation yep. of defining, as you see here, transforming to digital, yep. transforming, looking for different ways to deliver shared resources in a new infrastructure as a service. And I think the VMware guys, you know, have been in the virtualization business for quite a long yep. time, at least 15, 20 years, yep. um, expanding into a lot of new areas. And that's something that Falcon Store does, which is we do storage virtualization, okay. abstract the hardware, we are completely agnostic, and provide a common set of data services with analytics across all of those different destinations for storage. Fantastic. So you are, uh, acted as this abstraction layer but above the storage, offering that complete fe flexibility, yeah. continuity of movement, and also sounds like bridging the cloud and, and on-premise. Exactly, Barry. The ability to, to allow customers the choice to choose a traditional branded storage supply that they've had in the past, maybe look at Whitebox, maybe look at ODM, maybe look at one of the public cloud offerings. So it gives them the ability to choose the right storage device, physical or virtual, yep. for the right workload. And you know, everybody here is also talking about workload, workload portability. So today we actually do that portability with VMware to VMware, Hyper-V to Hyper-V, okay. but we also do VMware to Hyper-V and we also do physical to physical. The right. next logical progression, kind of what VMware is talking about too, is to be able to extend into some of these new offerings around Zen and OpenStack mm -hmm. and give customers the ability to really put their workload in the right place for the right service for the right cost. So it's really offering that flexibility and agility that IT today is having to deliver because of the demands of the business. Absolutely correct. I mean, every CEO is saying, hey, we need more turnover, we need to get more business, the web has allowed us now to really sell to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Mm -hmm. And with that means the storage guys have got to kind of come along in our space. Yep. And you know, for the longest time they've been told, sorry, you know, your data's got to stay on a proprietary platform. Mm -hmm. I think the Amazon guys have proved that's not true. Indeed. And even the VMware guys are showing you how you can move around and the storage guys are really going to kind of join the fray. Fantastic. So it really sounds like you're in a good place at a good time at the moment. It sounds yeah. like you've also got a lot of experience in doing that. You're not a new player to the market. Yeah, I, I mean, I think for us, what we're finding is that customers, the first comment about FreeStore is, is, is this the 1.0 version? Yeah. You know, and I think many people with some of these venture capital backed entities, yeah, yeah. nice technology, they look good, solid players. Um, but they don't really have the longevity experience, especially the enterprise, especially around primary storage. Um, you know, you can't have data loss. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just something that can't happen today. Yeah. So I think we're at the right place at the right time. Companies are transforming, gives an opportunity for an old player like Falcon Store to get into a new game. Definitely, to really be reinvented as a company, yeah, I suppose, yeah. and, and be there. And, and what you're saying there about storage vendor is, um, is really one of the things I've taken away from this show. For, for the first time ever, I've turned up and I've seen five or six storage vendors down there that I don't even recognize. Yep. Now, we've previously seen new players come to the market over the last five years, people like Nimble and Tintree, mm -hmm. but you knew that they were about before they were able to come to something like VMworld. For the first time now, I'm seeing people down there that have just appeared. Yep. I've not seen any press around them, I've not seen anything <laughs> about them, they're appearing. So what you were saying, you cannot afford to lose data. You want to know that your data is going to be secure. And it sounds like with your longevity in products, that, that's what you're yeah, offering. I, I, and I, and I, I've seen the same thing. I mean, there's, I mean, you've been around the industry for a long time. You've seen a lot of different players. You're absolutely right. 
people usually show up at VMworld after they have a few customers yeah, yeah. And, and they've been around a couple of years. Um, but you know, today everything's about visibility, being a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. um, VMware has a great partner ecosystem. I mean, we just became VMware Metro Cluster certified okay. last month. Um, we've been with them for years. We've supported their platform. Um, but you're right, there's a lot of people out there. You can't lose data. Storage is, it seems like it's a hot market, yeah, but yeah. it just might be a little too many of us out there That's today it. for I, I, customers to do it. I think there's definitely going to be some reorganization uh -huh, in the storage uh -huh. market. There are, as you say, too many players to probably feed all the mouths that are yeah. in there. And I think as we go forward, it is those that are able to differentiate, that is those that are able to bridge that gap between on-premise and the cloud, those that are able to simplify uh, the job of the IT mm -hmm. administrator that is becoming more and more complex. And, and, and I totally agree that it's simplification, it's flexibility. I mean, why do people like the cloud? It's not because of cost, it's yeah. because it's flexible, it's quick, it's easy, it's, it's something you pay as you grow, mm -hmm. right? You don't pay for something you don't use. And so I, I, I do think that whole idea of bridging from one side to the other, it just makes customers' lives easier. And, and if I'm a storage administrator, I wouldn't feel threatened by my on-premise footprint maybe shrinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be an EMC, there's always going to be a NetApp, yeah. right? I think they should look at transforming themselves because data is rapidly growing for every organization. So you really just kind of break out a little bit of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and look at all the opportunities to store information and apply all those years of success at yeah. EMC and NetApp to the new world of cloud, public, private, hybrid, mm -hmm. as well as on-premise or off-premise. Indeed, brilliant. Well, yeah. thank you ever so much. It's been yeah. really, really interesting meeting you. I look forward to learning more about your product. Thank Excellent, you. thank you so much.